Hello viewers, welcome back on my YouTube channel. It's awesome. And today I am going to tell you about how to control high temperature, how to control rising heat, and how to learn about heat-related illness and how to stay cool and safe in hot weather. Did you know, high temperatures kill hundreds of people every year and heat-related deaths and illness are preventable. Yet more than 700 people die from extreme heat every year in the U.S. Take my year to stay cool, remain hydrated, and keep informed. Getting too hot can make you sick. You can become ill from the heat if your body can't compensate for it and properly cool you off. The main things affecting your body's ability to cool itself during extremely hot weather are high humidity, personal factors. The high humidity is high. Sweat won't evaporate as quickly. This keeps your body from releasing heat as fast as it may need to. In personal factors include age, obesity, fever, dehydration, heart disease, mental illness, poor circulation, sunburn, and prescription drug. Alcohol use all can play a role in whether a person can cool off enough in very hot weather. Those who are at the highest risk include people 65 and older. Children younger than two and people with chronic diseases or mental illness. Closely monitor people who depend on you for their care and ask these questions. Are they drinking enough water? Do they have access to air conditioning? Do they need help keeping cool? People at greatest risk for the heart-related illness can take the following protection actions to prevent illness or death. They should must stay in air-conditioned buildings as much as they can. Air conditioning is the number one way to protect yourself against heat-related illness and death. If your home is not air-conditioned, reduce your risk for heat-related illness by spending time in public facilities that are air-conditioned and using air conditioning in vehicles. Contact your local health department or locate an air conditioning shelter in your area. Do not rely on a fan as your main cooling device during an extreme heat event. Drink more water than usual and don't wait until you are thirsty to drink. Check on a friend or neighbor and have someone do the same for you. Don't use the stove or oven to cook. It will make you and your house hotter. Even young and healthy people can get sick from the heat if they are precipitated in strenuous physical activities during hot weather. So, you should limit your outdoor activities, especially midday when the sun is hottest. Wear and reapply sunscreen as indicated on the package. Pace your activities, start activities slow and pick up the pace gradually. Drink more water than usual and don't wait until you are thirsty to drink more. Muscle cramping may be an early sign of heat-related illness. Wear loose, lightweight, light-colored clothing. Everyone should take these steps to prevent heat-related illness, injuries and death during the weather. Stay in an air-conditioned indoor location as much as you can. Drink plenty of fluids even if you don't feel thirsty. Schedule outdoor activities carefully. Wear loose, lightweight, light-colored clothing in sun strictly. Pace yourself. Take cool showers or bath to cool down. Check on a friend or a neighbor and have someone to do that. Never leave children or pets in cars. Check the local news for health and safety updates. Take care of yourself in the scratching heat and the scratching heat weather today in the world. So please prevent yourself from going outside and protect yourself from the scratching heat of summer. Dear viewers, if you are only on my channel, please subscribe my channel. It's awesome. Thank you.